It was awesome. Yeah. Who went in for the first kiss? Oh, who went in for the first kiss? I'm gonna say that was me. Definitely, <laughs> definitely me. It was like, yeah. definitely. It was she. Yeah. She drove all the way to see the kid. You know, I had to just let her know. You got Thank her. you, baby, for coming and, through. You know, you know I, I so appreciate love. you. You know, <laughs> coming all you know, that. She, yeah. I, She's much braver than I am. And like I said, like I was super new to it too. So I was like, I don't want to like mess up pressure mm. on awkward or like what's up everybody and welcome to the queerly black show i'm your host ashley and i'm so happy you came by the queerly black show aims to normalize the everyday existence of black lgbtqia plus individuals through an interview style series with regular folks like you and me so every week a new guest shares their story and unique perspective on their existence as an lgbtqia plus individual thank you for tuning in and make sure you subscribe download set your reminders to the podcast so you never miss an episode enjoy Enjoy the show. Welcome back to another episode of the Queerly Black Show. I'm your host, Ashley. I'm joined today by some very special guests, y'all. We got D and Jazz from the Queer Kind in the building. Y'all go ahead and introduce yourselves to the people. What's up, y'all? Do you want to go first? No. Nah. Oh, you never want to go first. Never. I'm D. <laughs> I'm D. Uh, I grew up in South Jersey, living now in Philly. Uh, I'm a school psychologist by trade. I have 17 jobs all the time. um, And I am one half of the queer kind. Yes, and I'm Jasmine. I'm from North Jersey, um, from Patterson. And I'm living here in Philly with this one, you know. (laughs) Um, My trade, I would say um, customer service work and just three other or four other jobs and just mostly with people. Too many jobs. (laughs) <laughs> like long as it's dealing with people I'm with it <laughs> nice so North Jersey South Jersey I'm from oh. Trenton right in the middle yep. yeah so, 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 it's always a battle it's so, always yeah so I, I was but gonna, it's all love say, it's, it's all, all love, love. Oh, but love. it is all different and it is yes. all <laughs> <laughs> you already some know people, some people are closer to Philly some people are closer to New York you know, uh, so it's, it's 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 definitely it's definitely a vibe. But we are not from Philly. We are not from New no, York. We are from know. Jersey. Yeah, be clear. <laughs> you feel me? Okay, proud of it. Yeah. So, um, so dope. Now none of us live in Jersey currently, but no. yeah. <laughs> we've all left the coop. But place to grow up. We're not gonna talk about that. We love right. it. Jersey. Right. Right. We, but we but it's the- always love. Always repping Jersey for sure. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Nice man. Well, thank y'all for coming on. Um, and y'all know just like how we do on this on this show is uh, we go back to the beginning. And so uh, before we talk about how y'all met, how y'all love story began, we got to talk about how y'all arrived there, how y'all like the ladies, man, how oh. we get there. Oh, want to start. You should start. Listen, listen, listen. listen. <laughs> I mean, I, let me see how I should start. Um, So I it, it's weird for me. I've never came out like I've never said. I am gay, you love me or you don't, but family, friends or whatever, I'm gay. I've never done that. What a Uh, privilege. (laughs) You never had to hit hit mom on the phone, like be contemplating all day, like I got something to tell her, man. And then you got to make that call. No, 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 because I took a stand. Like I took a stand, like I grew up in a big family and I was like the second um oldest and I had to do a lot of taking care of my family so my whole life was controlled by everybody else like I did this I was here I was just taking care of a whole whole bunch of things and I decided that my sexuality I don't care who questions it I don't care who loves it or hates it I'm not gonna post it out like that like I'm not gonna um ask for anybody no ask for anybody acceptance Mm -hmm. you either accept it or you don't Mm -hmm. like and that's how I felt about it you know, I told my my mom is a very Christian woman, yeah. very devout, very devout. Mm-hmm. But one thing she does, no matter what, she loves her kids more than she mm-hmm. loves anything. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't really that much worried, but I did have the, you know, my mom would, uh, before I like not originally came out before, like, you know, I had a girlfriend, I brought a girlfriend home. My sister was out before me. My sister had a girlfriend or a home and she was like, you know, my mom will pray over you with oil and stuff. And like that, <laughs> she was not. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, yeah, you know? yeah. So it's like, you know, she was praying for us to not go to hell. So like, you know, but she wouldn't like disown us, but like, yeah, if we got the prayer and stuff like that. So I was just, when I got a girlfriend, I got a girlfriend, you seen her like, this is the one I, you know, 
I like, you know, and I don't care any people did conversate about, you know, people whisper, people talk, mm-hmm. but like it's tough out there alone in general. So I don't like with other things, you know, just being a, a girl black and just not growing up in the best circumstances. It's just so much tough things. So I really was like, no, I don't care about what anybody thinks about sexuality. I'm gonna just be me and go out and be me every day I possibly can and yeah. love who I want to love, you know? Yeah. So that's like, I, yes, yeah. it is kind of a luxury not to come out, but like I did have people judging. It's just, yeah, I get it. Cause I, <laughs> I, I've talked about that before. Like um, when you think about like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it's like, you're focused on so many things, like all mm-hmm. the time, you know, food, shelter, like at the bottom. And then, you know, uh, you know, st- stability, financial stability yep. and yep. Uh, emotional wellness and all this stuff. And it's like sexuality is just something that, you know, for us is so it doesn't become important until it becomes important. Right. Well, it's right, like, right, I, right. I don't have, I can't focus on this. Like when you're, you know, yeah. growing up and you're trying to go to college, you're like, I can't focus yep. on that right now. I can't get disowned because I need to like, my parents need to pay for me to go to school. So like me yeah. coming out right now yeah. is not yeah. an option because I have to do what I have to do to get through, you know? And, yeah. and that unfortunately is some people's, some people's story, you know? And it's like, it's not what we want, which is why, you know, we're here today sharing and being open and, and, and hoping that, you know, some parent or some kid, um, will see it and, and hopefully change, 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 change someone else's mind, you know? Yes, so, yes, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So D what's your story? Yeah. The, the so late, late bloomer over late there. Bloomer. Yeah, yeah, like ready. almost uh-huh. exactly the opposite of what's going on over here. Right. So I grew up in not really a devoutly religious family, right? My mom was a single mom, uh, parents divorced when I was really young. So my mom was kind of like, whoever you are, however you want to be, be happy, right? Just be yourself and be happy. So I never really thought to question like, what box do I fit in? How do things work? You know, where should I be with all of this? But at the same time, I was a kid who as I developed like my sexuality, I was attracted to boys, right? And so at that time and at that age, it was like my only understanding of queerness, gayness was like gay men, right? Men who love, and I was like, well, I love men. And I mean, I think girls are cute too, but maybe that just means I'm straight. (laughs) I guess that just means I'm straight. And I sort of just like assumed it and accepted it, but questioned my whole entire life right yeah um this like uh what's the what's this like teenage years yeah like teenage years yeah like 13 14 right Mm -hmm. um all through college high school all of that I was just sort of like you know I find all kinds of people attractive yeah but because there is this like attraction to men it it must be that I'm straight you must be straight right like I'm (laughs) (laughs) there were no other examples of anything Uh limited to that right um also there is a sizable chunk of my family that's pretty homophobic right like Mm -hmm. not gonna be violent or anything like that physically but violent in their language and all of that and so I think just like I internalized some of that homophobia it was a lot of like you know okay I feel this feeling toward this girl that I just met but that you know I'm I'm gonna just put that somewhere else put it on a shelf and think about it later Mm -hmm. um and I was always sort of like a weird quirky kid right which I look back now and I'm like yeah I was clearly queer (laughs) (laughs) right like I was into like you know Broadway stuff from Mm -hmm. a very early age and not to say that everybody who's into Broadway is queer um but you know I was doing that I'm like rough and tumble it you know quote unquote tomboy in the 90s um which again like not everybody who's a tomboy is queer so like we all were like I'm just saying (laughs) but for me it was just you know I like what I like and that's it that's it yeah it doesn't matter there's no label to like oh girls like this and boys like that kind of a thing I don't even believe in the binary like that um and so it wasn't until I was 30 Mm. (laughs) a smooth six years ago uh that I figured out that like okay all this time as a teenager all through college all the time I was thinking like do I like girls maybe I do I think they're cute or attractive that might mean something that might Mm. mean that I'm queer because at that point in my life I had finally like been through therapy and like gotten all my basic needs met like you're talking about the Maslow's hierarchy and then it was like 
oh, I have time to explore this, right? So I have like basically a late teenagehood, adolescence to like explore this. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's really funny. And this kind of gets into the story of how we met. I decided to do an experiment at that point. I was doing all this online dating. Men are really annoying, particularly (laughs) online dating. (laughs) And so I was like, you know what? Let me think about this. If I'm feeling like maybe I'm queer, let's see what it's like to date women. So I flipped that switch on Tinder and I met this one like within a week. And that. the rest is history. Like we could talk about it, but the rest is kind of history from there. But yeah, so I was I was late to it. Um, I'm a little bit jealous sometimes because I'm like, you know, it would have been nice to be able to like be fully myself as a kid, but I think I just didn't have the space or the, the full safety or to even safety. to even figure it out. Yeah. 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 I would say like when I was a kid, I was always weird. Like I was always a weird kid. I, I, when I was 10 years old, I wrote like a, a secret letter to mm-hmm. my 27 year old teacher who was a black dark skinned woman. Like she, she was, she like admire a letter. It's like, but I wasn't saying anything sexual. Yeah. I was like, like I love certain things or like, like teach her teaching a class and like she's not you're you're nice but like secretly not letting her know that it's me but I was very a slow kid also because she was my English teacher yeah that don't make sense like I'm yeah. writing the lesson to my English teacher yeah and she's like huh is we had a letter she she actually pulled me to the side like I think like a two weeks later I wrote like maybe like 10 letters to her and I was like she just talked to me she was like what's going on like mm, like what's up <laughs> and I felt so like a sh- like a shame but like I still don't even know who I was like I wouldn't say I I like it wasn't a thing about liking girls or liking guys I was just expressing your expressing admiration my admiration I was just like this is, and I'm like what kid did this you like <laughs> like what kid, like what you never stopped writing letters you still like I, I do I do I do I do yes that's what's up <laughs> D, were you, did you have any fear when you were um, now 30 coming into this new part of, of your sexual identity? Did you have any fear about what you're, you're for yourself, um, what your family <laughs> might think? Like, yeah. talk about that just being a little bit older, just because I think we obviously hear a lot of the stories about, you know, um, people being younger and, and coming mm-hmm. out and kind of what that looks like. Oh, you know, it's a phase and blah, 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 blah. But you're 30, right? It's like, no, nah, you know, this, this ain't no phase. I know what was happening, right? Um, so, so talk about just kind of like the thought process there. Yeah. I, so honestly, I, it kind of felt like I was getting ready to jump off a cliff, right? Like I'm skydiving or cliff diving or whatever. And I just got to go for it. Right. But I don't know what's going to happen on the other side. Um, So I first had a conversation with uh, my cousin. We're really tight. Um, She's always been super accepting of whoever I show up to be. So I had this conversation. I'm like, this is what I'm thinking. And she was like, you know what? I really appreciate you sharing that with me. Um, And I know how hard it's going to be for you to just like be open about that with our family, because that's a part of the family that you know, doesn't share those values that it, that are accepting. Um, and so I was just really worried about like what relationships I might lose, right? Yeah. What, how are people going to treat me? Are they going to look at me any different after this? Um, and so I was terrified. I started with my cousin. I went and talked to family, not family, friends first um, because I knew all my friends, you know, they love me, accept me, whatever. I had a couple of queer friends at the time anyway, um, and so I was like, well, <laughs> I'm one of y'all mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm just discovering that. Where's my welcome package? Thank you. What's the orientation? Bring it in. Yes. What's the hotline? Like, give me all the information. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and of course, where's were- my letter? LGBTQ, yeah. what am I? Where do I fall? Like, I what's up? Better with the label on it. Facts, facts, facts. Um, and directly yeah. to the ladies. We're the ladies. Thank you. I <laughs> and I definitely was having that conversation. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, so now what do I what how I go about this? Um, but it was funny because I, I rolled into a relationship really fast, which is very stereotypical. Yes, very <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh, that's how we, we do it. We're gonna get to that. <laughs> yes, absolutely um but yeah so it was it was scary it was terrifying but I knew that if I was gonna have any chance 
at like actually being happy in my life that I had to be myself. And it didn't matter if other people could accept that or not. It couldn't matter, right? Of course I care. Um, and I did lose some relationships along the way. Um, and I grieve them all the time, but I had to do that for myself. I had to be whole and true to myself in order to be happy. Um, so I just kind of started to rip the bandaid off over the next like month or so after I sort of figured it out for myself. Um, my mom was really awesome. I told her that I met somebody and they're a woman and all of that. And she was like, okay, what else? Like, when do I get to meet her? And I was like, mm -hmm. yes, this is awesome. So, you know, I had, I had really awesome experiences like that to kind of counterbalance the terrifying, hateful ones. Um, and so that really helped. That really That's helped. Dope. Yeah. That's dope. Mm -hmm. And so then you two meet you met. online, <laughs> on Tinder, on, on Tinder, Tinder. Yeah. swiping and whatnot. Yes. Yes. You know, you know, that's what, what so goes Y'all um, meet online pretty quickly after uh, Dee discovers this new part of herself. And then uh, you have this amazing first date. Yeah. Let's, let's, oh. talk, let's hear it. Let's hear about this first date. You want to talk about it or should I? No, you stay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, let me, well, just, let me just add some cool. context real quick. Um, I live in Philly. She lives in Patterson at the time, right? That's almost a two hour yeah. drive. Yeah. And so I kind of was convinced at some point, like, we're never going to get together. We're never going to figure this out. Our schedules are too busy. It's ridiculous. Yeah. She was like, I'll wait for you. Let me know the next time your schedule clears up. Yeah. I'm like, okay. So about a month later, <laughs> it took a whole month. I was like, okay, I have this time available. She was like, well, come to Patterson. I'll show you around. And I was like, all right. <laughs> so I drove up to Patterson and uh we had already like we've been talking on the phone for like two three months by then um and so I went and stopped and bought like her favorite potato, potato chips, chips. <laughs> she has the you know those like Lay's flavored and they got the, the different flavors that come yeah. out and like limited edition, edition. I'm mm -hmm. like I love chips so mm -hmm. I was yeah. like, I don't, I don't really know what else she likes besides chips. And this isn't fancy, but let me just see how she takes it. You know, at least it's thoughtful, I guess. So went and stopped at all the stores, got the chips, brought them to her. And she, she nearly cried when I did that. Which was <laughs> funny. I'm like, you crying over potato chips. That's very interesting. But <laughs> I, I love potato chips. But yeah, so then we spent the day um, just sort of like, exploring Patterson, eating really good food, going to all her favorite spots, mm -hmm. um, going to be nerdy at Barnes and Noble, like checking out different books together. Um, we went out for a walk in the park. Right, yeah. There was like this summer festival going on, which was really cool. Um, and my favorite part of the date was what is we were, okay so in Patterson there's like a national park right it's the it's the falls in Patterson it's like nationally renowned like it's a big old waterfall that we've had super pretty forever <laughs> waterfalls and gorges and things um and there's this bridge that sort of overlooks the falls and the festival was happening behind us we're standing at the bridge looking at the falls she's telling me about like growing up in Patterson and playing in the waterfalls and all this stuff it was a really cute story and we end up sort of at the same time, just like going silent and pulling out our Instagram, just like scrolling through our Instagram, showing each other like pictures. And she's really tight with her family. I'm really tight with my family, particularly for both of us. The kids in our family are like yes, super special to us. Um, so we're just showcasing like, oh, this was Halloween and this was <laughs> this. And, it, and that was my favorite part because it was super simple, right? Nobody had to like get all fancy. Mm -hmm pay a lot of money for anything um and I think it just really showed like who we are and our similarities at our core and the, and the values that we have yeah um, and that happened so. that like that's crazy that happened on our first date yeah. like the like where we at what up it's your host Ashley and I'm interrupting this podcast to ask are you following us have you downloaded the podcast? Are you subscribed to us on YouTube? If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on all platforms, Queerly Black. I'm going to let y'all get back to the show. Peace. The roots, like who we are, the roots. Mm -hmm. Like we love family. We just love being out. We, you know, went to go see books, read in some books, and we went to go get some good food. Yeah. And just like, it's all about just who we, we love are taking, in general. We love taking care of people, right? I yes. think that was apparent in there. Um, and so, I, you know, I, I just thought we really connected in that yes. moment and mm -hmm. 
when I drove home, it was it was probably like two in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, I probably did. I have work the next day. Yep, probably. And I know I had work the next day, <laughs> but it don't when you when, that early, it don't even it matter. Don't it matters. You don't I mean, even care. You be you going to work like dead. Yep. But that day was good though. Yeah, it yes. sure was. It sure and she did call. And me I call her right in the morning, ten, maybe not <laughs> when you get to work. Hi, like we how's just. Your, how's your day going? Mm-hmm. We were just with each other, literally mm-hmm. like seven hours ago, and it's just like. Mm-hmm. Like when and when I'm gonna see you next. Like yeah. it's not. It was awesome. Yeah. Who I, went in for the first kiss? Oh, who went in for the first kiss? I'm gonna say that was me. Definitely, <laughs> definitely me. It was like, yeah. definitely. It was, yeah. she, it was she. She drove all the way to see the kid. You know, I had to just <laughs> <laughs> let her know. <laughs> You Thank you, baby, for coming through. You know, you know I appreciate love. you. You know, <laughs> coming, all yeah, that. Yeah, she's much braver than I am. And like I said, like I was super new to it too, so I was like, I don't want to like mm. mess up, pressure mm. on, awkward, or like. I also had this complex at the time, and it, it's, a lot of folks might relate to this of being this like baby queer, right? Who doesn't know what they're doing. And a lot of people wrote me off early on as like, oh, nah, you just figured out you're queer. Mm, like, nah. <laughs> you really, you're really straight and you just want to experiment. I don't trust that, right? Mm-hmm. And so like she trusted me and I appreciate her allowing me to go on that journey. But yeah, like as far as like making those first moves, most of it was all her in the beginning because I was just so nervous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it's weird that the experience that you have, you know, like being a baby queer and just being out you know, just in the queer community and people judging you like that. It's weird. I was judged also, yeah. even though like I am a gold star queer, mm-hmm. and, like judged you because you never been with a man or like, like mm-hmm. it, it was just weird get, to me. Like you, you, get you still get, either way. you get judged either way, no yeah. matter how you are, how you come out. It's just, it's like, are you sure that you like women or like, do I have to try a man to like, I'm right, like, right, yeah. right, right. Like, do you, I, I, or, or I, I always say the reverse is like, do you have to try a woman to know that you like men? Like, no. Oh. So why are you asking me that stupid mess? <laughs> like, what's the straight test, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. It's all these tests for like, oh, you, how oh, you, you, you didn't explore enough. You didn't date enough. Well, you didn't date a woman. Cause I'm pretty sure if you did, you wouldn't be with old boy that you okay, with right, right now. So yes. what, like, what are we talking about? <laughs> I, I got judged no matter what I was like okay I'm not the I'm not saying I had myself like being like the perfect lesbian but like I'm just I love women yeah and that's I, it. I've kissed guys before and all that whatever I've just it doesn't matter like I've mm-hmm. always Been. had an, just an all for women like same it's oh, when same. I, mean, I, girl, I can relate like, from, like, from young just yes, you know, so like yeah. see it and be like man <laughs> But you see a guy and it's just like, oh, you know, he's a handsome guy. Huh? Yeah, like he, funny. He's handsome. Yeah. Girls. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they gorgeous. They like, mm-hmm. damn. damn. Captivating. Just like, captivated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> we're always like, yeah, we're always out like appreciating people, right? Uh-huh. Like, you know, of course, we're not objectifying anybody, but, you know, you you recognize somebody in the street is cute and we might be like, oh, she, you know, she's cute, whatever, that kind of thing. Whenever she sees an attractive man that's attractive to her, She's always like, oh, it's because he looks like a woman. <laughs> He's got like these feminine, feminine features. features. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And I'm, I'm like, so like, you, don't, you don't really like feminine the features. masculinity. You like all the, the feminine features, no matter uh-huh. who. They- <laughs> like, yeah, you already know. I'd be like, yeah, he got some nice boobies. I'm like, oh, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? <laughs> but I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I totally, I totally, totally can relate. So then, um, you guys dated for a while and you started your page your yeah. basically your platform last year yeah. last year well actually was, Wait, yeah it was last, last year technically because yeah. it's, it's 2023 now yeah. uh-huh yeah last March. um what talk about just kind of how you started it the name I know you kind of gave a brief uh this you know the uh, you briefly talked about how the name came about but just talk about how you guys started your platform how you decided and and um what you shared there oh, yeah um so we decided to start the platform like long before we actually did. did yeah. um, so the day that we started it sort of just like all the ideas sort of came at the same time. And we were just like, all right, it's time to launch the page. Um, but we chose the name The Queer Kind because someone asked us what kind of lesbian is Jazz, right? Like what kind of lesbian I'm is she? Mm-hmm. 
And I'm like, the queer kind. Like, yep. you know, I just got sarcastic mm-hmm. <laughs> in response. It's like, what do you mean? What kind? There's all kinds. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we like to sort of like reclaim that in a way and, and just talk about labeling everything that we do as the queer kind of what we're doing, right? So like, we love the queer kind of love and we experience the queer kind of joy and that kind of thing. Just sort of like thinking about how to embrace those things for ourselves when the world doesn't want to give it to us right doesn't want to acknowledge us as people um and that's what made us really want to start the page too is that we we encountered all this all this resistance growing up yeah um as we started our relationship like we still don't as a married couple get like full married couple respect or acknowledge often right sometimes it's just like okay well who's supposed to like take care of the the maintenance in the house how are you gonna do it well, we're two capable adults we can figure it yeah. out mm-hmm. <laughs> um and so yeah we really just wanted to be like listen this is who we are this is how we love this is how we experience joy and you can whoever you are whether you're queer or not you can have yeah. that for yourself too mm-hmm. if you're just brave enough to bet on yourself about it um and so that's pretty much sort of like the at the center at the core of our platform Yep. Yeah. And just dispelling like labels, like, mm-hmm. you know, people have been trying to put me, that's what I was talking about earlier. People have been trying to put me in a label every, just, just period, like forever. I'm just like, I never fit into any label. Like I can say a guy's cute. Why, why can't I, I can do whatever I want? Like right. I'm just Jasmine. Right. Um, and you know, if I don't pick a label, I'm not accepted by certain people. And that's, I'm like, I didn't, I really don't even care. Like, I just want to be me. Yeah. So I'm going to be this queer person and however you see it and whatever you call it, I, I'm just me. I'm just queer. I'm just, that's who I am. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, and you should it. be who you are. Like, absolutely. We all should have the freedom to be whoever we are. Yeah. Whatever that is. As long as we're not hurting anybody. Right? Yes. Like, yes. You know, anybody. definitely. But, yeah. yeah. Um, you guys share uh, the, the queer agenda or the gay agenda, which I think <laughs> is funny because it's like, man, some of them are very ambitious and I'm like, Ooh, I probably should uh, uh, amp up uh, my, my to-do list. Um, <laughs> what, made you, what made you guys start sharing that? Um, oh, so I'll be honest. I kind of started it um, in conjunction with my cousin who I came out to first. Um, she sort of had the idea of like, you know, people always talking about this gay agenda yep. that pe- gay, gay people trying to perpetuate all the time. You should be sarcastic about it. So I was like, oh, that's a good idea. Like we talk about it all the time. I'm always like, well, what is the gay agenda? When you yeah. say there's gay- right, what is it? And where's the community, the committee, the community, like, yes. what's, we don't have a what's meeting. the number? What, like, what is it? Yes. What like, you know, like, you guys have an agenda. No, no. What's no. the agenda? I'm no. not trying to turn nobody else gay. Mm. Me and my wife, we're gay together. And that's, how, you mm. know, I'm happy about that. My agenda looks like this. How will I get to work today? <laughs> what what I got to clean up in the house? The car needs maintenance, all of that. So my agenda looks just like your agenda, mm-hmm. no matter if I'm queer, you're queer, whoever's queer or not. Um, and so it's sort of like, you know, uh, uh, satire. Yeah, it's sort of a satirical sort of shot at people who want to try to, you know, decide that we have some sort of angle to bring. Um, or that queer people do stuff really different different things like you know we Mm -hmm. take care of our dog different or we (laughs) you know wash our car different on different days yeah so we're we're sarcastic about that too like i wash my hair queer (laughs) yeah (laughs) i'm gay drive my car like you know like what is that um and so and it's also an opportunity to just sort of just share like our everyday lives like Mm -hmm. here's a peek into what's going on for us this week um we are busy at various times. Right now, we're sort of on like uh, an unintentional, like short-term hiatus because there are 17 things on our plate right now, right? Mm-hmm. And so sometimes we want to just sort of share that. Here's what's going on with us. Mm-hmm. If you don't hear from us this week, <laughs> this, this is, is what it is. is. We're being queer this way. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Our gay agenda, yeah. trying to get our to-do list done. Yeah. 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 Definitely. What do you guys do outside of um like when you're not doing the the queer kind like all the jobs and 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 different things that you guys got to kind of do what what uh give the people a little bit of uh, insight into what you guys do outside of um the platform? You got it. You want me to start? What you think? Yeah. <laughs> all right. So I've got a nine to five as a learning specialist at a university. Um, I also work a part time job as an interview specialist um, where I just interview people for summer camp positions. Um, I, what else do I do? I bake. Um, we have this, this 
five month old puppy to take care of who was very demanding of our time. <laughs> um, I sometimes will draw like there are comics on our page. Um, I haven't drawn one in a little while and <laughs> I'll get back to it. But I do mm -hmm. like to like express myself creatively when I get a chance. Um, we're working on developing some some podcasts with some other folks mm -hmm. ourselves. Um, so hopefully, you know, we'll get some major developments with those done this year. Um, what else are we always doing? That's pretty much it for a you. A million things. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm just besides doing anything with um the queer client, I'm um doing a mutual aid effort. Like um, it's called breaking bread, and where I cook meals for the community fridges in a neighborhood well not just in a neighborhood but just in philly in general and we bring the food to each fridge um when they're done and getting other neighbors around to do the same mm -hmm. um so we can collectively keep the fridges full because people really need the food um the fridges are open 24 7 um and it always needs like there's needs to be met you know so that's yeah. what i do for most of the time when I'm not doing anything with the queer kind. And I also work a customer service job, um, either working TurboTax or <laughs> working um, some like medical uh, related uh, customer service work. Um, We're big on like gigs, right? So like, first of all, living in Philly, it's not cheap. <laughs> you gotta hustle. Um, it's not and cheap. And I bet so ain't you gotta, yeah. you gotta hustle. Um, you know, we like to make sure all our needs are met at all times. We just got this puppy. So we're always sort of like drumming up money for ourselves when we can. So we're mm -hmm. always working some kind of gig. This one is always finding something for yeah. us. You might see us, I don't know, like doing interviews for somebody, for some research company at some point, if they're taking temporary folks. We do stuff like that all the yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel it. I feel it. Listen, man, you got to get out here and hustle. Yes, you want to yes. live a certain kind of way and you want certain things in life. You got to hustle. Yep, That's yep. the name of the game. Yep. Yep. So yeah, we're always doing. Oh, and the podcast with, uh, doing a podcast with this one over here and her cousin and also doing one with my sister. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get that ready to launch. And that's pretty much all we do. Um, besides that and going out, you know, seeing nature, I love going out by the water. Um, it's like my favorite thing to do. That's the thing we need to do more is be dating each other way more intentionally. Yes. Um, I think we we carve out a lot of time for other people in our lives. But one of our favorite things to do, like like Jazz is saying, is to just like go be with nature, go outside, mm -hmm. just like get some fresh air, mm -hmm. you know, put our feet on the ground and just sort of like center ourselves in that way. We just escape um, from certain, you know, escape, escape from, from the hustle, all the hustle, hustle and bustle. Mm -hmm. Yes. And just like be with each other, right? Yep. Like no devices, no other people, no interference. Um, so try to carve out time for yep, that. Yep, because that's super important. Mm -hmm. Definitely, no, most definitely. So, what can they people expect from the queer kind this year? Man, um, so I think folks can expect us to be creating more media, right? Like, so one of the things I'm trying to get into is like honing my video editing skills. Um, we want to expand to YouTube this year. That's something we've been talking mm -hmm. about. Um, I'm also thinking we have, we have a lot of things on our plate, so I'm going to under promise a little bit here, but I eventually, I think we want to start our own podcast, just the two of us, mm -hmm. um, at least, you know, in conjunction with our, our social media presence. Um, so yeah, this year we, we're just going to try to grow and expand incrementally as we can, as we can fit it in. Um, but you can definitely expect to see more from us this year. Yep. Maybe some swag too involved. Yay. <laughs> really? Y'all yeah. want some queer kind t-shirts? Like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so, man. Get it. Get uh, it. Get it. Merch, merch, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, we're going to play a little game real quick. Oh, oh game. Oh, okay. We're going to play a game of this or that <laughs> All right. before we close Ooh. out. Y'all ready? Yeah. So that the people can get to know y'all a little better. <laughs> All right. Sports bra or underwire bra? Oh, sports bra. Underwire. <laughs> she said, I want the girls up. <laughs> <laughs> up. Told you about these boobies out. You know. <laughs> uh, laundry or cooking? Cooking. Definitely for you. Uh, probably cooking for me too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So who gonna wash them clothes? And we we both do it, but that don't mean we love it, you know? It and I do it all. Like I do, it could do all of it in one day just to get it out my face. Yeah. Right? 
I'm more good. of a like, yeah, do a little bit every day nope. kind of person. She's like, no, I'm gonna just do all the laundry on Saturday and stock okay? it. More Sorry, I ain't you. got time. <laughs> yeah. I'll get it all washed and dried, but it folded. See, yeah. Yeah, we're looking at a week, two weeks. <laughs> we be Yo, living out the dryer, man. With me, I will be in the dryer like, oh, get that shirt. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, especially with this baby. It Before that, I'd have been, it'd have been good, but maybe it'd have been a week before the baby now. Baby laundry is on a whole other a whole level. Nother level. <laughs> oh my God, the small little thing. It's just so many. Everything. Oh my God. Don't even view it. Day at the spa or watching sports all day. Oh, me watching sports all day. Oh, mm. I got a guess for you. You don't know. Day at the spa. Mm-hmm. Day at the spa. Short hair or long hair? Long. Yeah, y'all both got long hair, so. <laughs> Short. Hers is Short. longer. Listen. Hers is longer than she wants. I've cut my hair. Cuts it off all the time. Yes. So. <laughs> got it. Lipstick or lip gloss? Chapstick. Can I pick something with my you can, dear? <laughs> Okay. Lip gloss. <laughs> I'll pick lip gloss. Sport, sports car or big truck? Ooh. Ooh I'm going to go. Wow. I'm going to say truck. I'm going to say truck. That's a tough one. It is. I'm going to go big truck. Yes. Big wedding or small ceremony? Small, small ceremony. ceremony. We're good. <laughs> in unison, stay up late or sleep yeah. in? Mm, I want to do both stay up late and sleep I, I'll say stay up late stay up late stay up late iron or redry it <laughs> redry it yeah redry it <laughs> yo it's funny that you say that because <laughs> like year of us living oh together, my god we were always arguing about iron and coal because I'm the one that has the like fancy nine to five job right like I work at a university and she'd be like you gotta iron that shirt like you can't be out here misrepresenting me and I'm like well, if that's how you feel, you can iron it for me. And she goes, uh, shit. I iron everything. <laughs> yeah. I, feel I iron you. everything. I get it. I used to be like that, but I don't know what happened. I don't yeah. know what happened. I'm, I'm an iron. I always, I had, I plugged the iron up before I came, before I got on here. <laughs> um, pay or have her pay? We're pay. married now, but. Um, pay. Pay. Oh, I'll pay. Pay. Yeah. We fight over that. Too. Yeah, Who's I'll pay. pay. We used and, to fight. Yeah. Last question. Pillow princess or I'm on top. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna go with I'm on top. Hey. I don't know. I don't, anyway. What? We, answer we the question. Answer the question. She would say I'm the pillow princess. She would say Hey. It changes every now and then. Yeah, exactly. Switch it up every now and then. <laughs> about to get spicy y'all <laughs> but no uh seriously um you know um thank y'all for coming through tell the people where they can find you so you can find us at the queer kind on all platforms except twitter we're not on twitter right now um but everywhere else at the queer kind yep yeah boom well thank y'all so much for coming through you. You appreciate y'all for coming um and y'all already know man this is another episode of the queerly black show i'm your host ashley i catch y'all on the next one Peace.